IVGA. Have you been? It's a long story. I think you're gonna have to sit down for this one. All right, you have some explaining to do. Well, we lost track of you during the 560 mission or something. That was like a year ago. Where have you been? Everybody thought you were dead. As you know, the 560 mission went off without a hitch. But the next mission. The Tibetan coconut farmers. That's a completely different story. But Kingpin told me he lost track of you in September. Where have you been since then? Remember that Star Wars MMO that came out a little while ago? Uh... I got in deep. Real. Deep. Hmm, mm, Star Wars MMO. Uh... But that's not... The worst part of it, it, uh, it progressed. I have you now. Wait a minute. What? What? Pl plus 20 light side points? No! So, what's the mission today? Good question. Mission 660 TI. I like it. What do we got? And here it is, the EVJ GeForce GTX 660 TI. So let's go ahead and open up this box and see what we get on the inside. So right on top here we have an EVGA full-size fold-out poster. Here is an EVGA manual, also a small notice about power supply requirements, a DVD installation guide along with an EVGA case badge, a quick installation guide, a small note about PCI Express 3.0 and a couple of pretty cool EVJ enthusiast stickers. And next we have a Molex to 6 pin power connector. Actually we have two of these and a DVI to VGA adapter. This will be used on the DVI-I connector on the card. And here it is, the EVJ GeForce GTX 660 Ti. This card has dual DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort, and you can actually run all of these at the same time. Now let's take a look at the GeForce GTX 660 Ti specs. If you take a look at the clock speeds, you'll notice that the clocks are identical to the GeForce GTX 670, including the CUDA cores. The only difference is the memory bit width. The 660 Ti has a memory bit width of 192 bits compared to 256 bit on the GTX 670. Another cool bonus from EVGA is an exclusive EVGA Precision X skin. This is a GeForce GTX 660 Ti Precision X skin. So let me go ahead and do some overclocking. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, increase the memory clock offset by about 300 megahertz. And uh, we'll continue to inch up the GPU clock. And of course all while doing this I'm running the EVGA OC Scanner X utility in the background to keep my uh, graphics card running at its GPU boost clocks. So my maximum overclock was a plus 175 megahertz GPU clock offset, which gives me a true clock speed of about 1260 megahertz. EVJ is also making available a new version of the EVJ OC Scanner X utility, which supports the GeForce GTX 660 Ti. It also has a new stress test, which uses both fur and tessellation. So now let's take a look at some performance. I'm going to run the Heaven benchmark at 1920 by 1080 with 4x multi sampling and 8x anisotropic filtering and with normal tessellation. The 660 Ti was able to maintain 56.4 frames per second. So there you have it, the EVGA GeForce GTX 660 Ti. For more information on this product, please visit the EVGA website at www.evga.com or be a part of our community at forums.evga.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. I don't think Kobe has another ring in him. Dude, with Nash and Howard, it's not a problem. Nash and Howard? What about World Peace? It's okay. Hey, Mr. Duff, what is thy bidding? Uh, I'm actually just getting him out, dude. I got this, dog. 
Whoa! Thanks, Tiny. No problem. Be careful, though. You're gonna get some light side points. What? I just shook it up using the force. Ha! Ah, ah. 